I'll just let you kind of capture whatever. My, my goal here, and I can explain it, but, um, you know, can just say episode one, my vlog, welcome to my life. Um, I don't know if you're recording already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I just took Nathan into uh, one of these properties that I have coming soon here on Kenyon Street in the Parkview neighborhood. And if these nice people will let me out here. And I've been over there quite a bit this week trying to figure out um, exactly what we need to do to prep it. We're now headed west on Kenyon, uh, passing something that's near and dear to my heart, uh, 747 Kenyon Street. It's the first, not the first real estate property, but the first house that I bought in, um, in DC back in 2008 with my wife. I learned a lot. So number one, um, in 2008, for those of you guys that remember, was not necessarily downturn, but it slowed down. Real estate really slowed down in DC for a couple of years. 2006, I think, was about the peak. In 2008, it was still slow. So we actually bought a short sale. It was a short sale. Um, property was in terrible condition. It was livable, but um, you know the front the front was completely overgrown. The back was completely overgrown. The the weeds in the back were about three feet tall. Um, my real estate agent she didn't even want to go in, but we saw the vision. It had this huge backyard, and uh, as you guys know in DC, outdoor space is a premium. So we bought that. I spent every Saturday and Sunday um, going to Home Depot and fixing it up, fixing up the kitchen, we fixed up the rear addition, we uh, put up a concrete parking pad, we put a, a new garage door. That was really my first experience in fixing up properties. And at that time, you know, spending 200 bucks at Home Depot was a ton of money. I'm uh, gonna take you over to our 13th Street property and show you guys what's happening over there. Here at 13th Street, we are gonna, this is gonna be all completely demoed. So once we're done, you'll be able to see from the basement all the way up to the attic. We're gonna turn this into a two unit condo building. Each unit will be two floors, three bedroom, three and a half bath. So I can't wait to take you guys on this journey. Uh, oh, this, this project will take about six months, uh, but you can see here we are through a little bit of the, the demo. The big demo will come in the next couple of weeks. So it's a busy day. A few months ago, I bought a house in Shepherd Park and we we're just gonna do a quick uh, refresh and we ended up doing a full gut. So this morning I woke up, had uh, some electricians finishing off some work, quickly went over to uh, my new listing on Kenyon Street and then I just showed you guys 3812, 13th Street. So headed back to Parkview uh, to go drop back off the keys over there. I forgot to put them in the lockbox. So then I have to head, go get a quick bite and then go um, host an open house so um, the rose on first street went live a week and a half ago that was a full gut renovation that we did a two unit condo two unit condos in the top unit is already under contract um, so we're really happy about that the top unit was amazing um, two levels two bedroom two and a half bath plus a den outdoor fire pit outdoor fire pit that was really really nice um, so the top units under contract now the one bedroom one bath lower unit have to get that sold have a lot of interest but um, nobody's written an offer yet so gonna go host the open house today and see what we can do and then to uh, take my boys to the Howard basketball game it's their last home game um, those games are super fun growing up right outside of DC I was always in and around downtown DC. We call this area Lower Georgia Avenue. The next 10 years are, I think are going to be pretty interesting here. A lot of investment from the city is going into Georgia Avenue. Um, a lot of the kind of newcomers, I would say, are super passionate about Georgia Avenue. There's an organization called Georgia Avenue Thrive. It's a group of volunteers that I um, belong to. 
and anybody can join. You just need to come and, and get involved and figure out what you're passionate about. But uh, it's incredible. These um, people with no agendas really um, just really want to help improve, do what they can do um, to improve inclusive t inclusivity. Did I say that right? Inclusivity. Um, so really how to, you know, gentrification is, is a big word that goes around. Um, but how do we include everybody from all social economical backgrounds? It's, it's getting expensive here, right? You can't really, you know, I don't know the answer. Um, it's a really tough question to try to figure out or problem to solve. How do you, you know, pe people are buying these houses, spending a ton of money on them to renovate them and then resell them for, for top profit so it prices out the people that have been living here for a while so it's you know I don't have the answer but um, I do know that the schools are improving I do know that uh, the government is actually collecting taxes now my uncle moved to DC years and years ago and he used to tell me how nobody paid taxes and a lot of people worked in DC but nobody lived in DC so DC wasn't collecting a lot of taxes but now they're able to collect ta the taxes they're able to actually invest back in the communities um, the parks are great and um, there's just a lot of I won't, well, I don't say a lot but there's money to be reinvested so that um, the infrastructure and the schools and communities can grow so we're back here on Kenyon where uh, we started the day uh, drop Nathan off and then I'm gonna go uh, grab some lunch and then uh, head to my open house so see you guys later